Hey, what is up everybody and welcome to a new video. I have a ton of news for you guys today. We have new clothing in store now. We'll be releasing in the next couple of days. New hoodies, I freaking love them. That's from my favorite brand from Australia. These are printed in the UK, by the way. And I kept it simple this time, just with the logo mark in the back. I love it. Uh, I just pretty much didn't get a designer. The shirts, that's the shirt that I'm uh, wear at this moment. We also have caps and we also have belt guards for all boards will be available soon. But the actual release for today, Challenger Belt Drive, it's finally available now. Please send us an email because each location is a bit different. Onsra California, we'll release them in 10 days. Switzerland have them in stock already. Onsra Europe. We'll receive them in 20 days. So they are, the production is finished worldwide. We ship within 15 days from rightonsra.com. Worldwide, Japan, pretty much any country we, we can ship to. Eh, 45T, 105 millimeter wheels. Let's get into the details now. Let's go. We have 45T pulleys on here with 105 millimeter wheels, which gives you amazing torque. Yeah, so what you need to know with this board, <laughs> this is not a mini board. I'll say it again. I mean, this has speed. This brings you literally up mountains. Rough roads, definitely not a problem. I mean, the cloud wheels definitely handle rough roads really well. See that? Oh, doing tricks now. <laughs> I love this. It's really, really hard to find concrete like this on mountains. But yeah, damn. <laughs> I mean, you can already see how far up I am already. As you can see now, I'm literally going over 30 kilometers an hour uphill. I freaking love it. I mean, almost going too fast to get around things like this, but I love it. Oh my God, this is a perfect street right here. Damn. Getting rough. Typical Switzerland, by the way. If you come to Switzerland, you definitely want to take one of these or just hit me up and let's go with the skateboard up the mountain. That's definitely more fun. So you might ask, why did we go for the smaller motors? And it's because of the design. So with the bigger motors, there's not enough space to turn anymore. So that's why we needed to go for the smaller motors. I mean, there will literally be about five millimeter less in between the deck and the motors. That's why we choose the, the smaller motors and the bigger motors just don't make any sense on this kind of board. Of course, it's a little bit louder. It's about 10 decibel louder than the bigger motors on the Black Horse 2, but yeah, it brings you the amazing power of Black Horse 1 and I freaking love it. I freaking freaking love it. I mean, I would I would say this is my favorite board and you can literally use any wheels you want. Have amazing, amazing torque. I need to show you that again. I mean, if I lean forward, <laughs> it's so hard to show. Yeah. See that? Yeah. 
I mean, this board has amazing power, amazing torque, and I really just recommend it for experienced people, or experienced riders. Of course, we have all the normal Challenger features here. I mean, it's literally the same battery, same deck, everything the same, just the belt motors. Big difference is definitely more torque, more power, and you can just change it like you want. If you would say, okay, hey, I want more speed, then just change to 100, you know, change the gearing, you know? If you want more speed, then just change to 40T instead of 45T right now. I mean, probably depends a little bit on where you live and what you want exactly. I mean, if you live in a hilly area, you definitely want the setup that we have right here. And this is our setup. If you need another setup, hit us up and let us know which setup you need. Anything is possible here with us, basically. And of course, you can also carve with the belt drive version, and we love it. Oh, actually, one important thing I just realized. I would say, let's just end the video just right here. She's thirsty, and uh, yeah, huge, huge fan of this board. Huge, huge fan of the belt version. Of course, it's a bit louder than the Black Carve 2. I don't mind too much, it's about 10 decibel. But to me, I really, really don't mind for, for me to get the torque to get up mountains like this with a, you know, with a tail, I freaking love it. And yeah, if you would ask me, what do you like more, the, you know, tail or the, the longboard version, black horse version, to me, it doesn't really matter. I think it really depends on what I'm doing or how far I'm planning to ride. Um, that's probably the biggest thing. I mean, if, if I would go like a way bigger mountain or, or say, you know, I, I go ride 80, I would definitely go for the longboard version because it's just a better version with more range, basically. So yeah, but when I want to go like, yeah, you know, just for short rides, I will always choose this board. And the, the reason is, you know, if I want to turn and, oh, which direction am I going? Oh, this direction. Let's turn. I just love stuff like this. And yeah, the torque is just next level on this board. And I love it. <laughs> Let me show you again. I mean, it's just, yeah, yeah. It's just really good. It's just really good. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let us know and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.